Hello, I'm Johnny Jarrett, a board Honda of Southfield, Virginia, and I'm very proud to be a certified Honda sales rep for a total of 17 years. Just like the Dragons, when you buy from us, you will come out on top. I'm Donnie Jarrett, and I'm passing the savings on to you. Boyd Chevrolet Honda of South Hill is proud to bring you Dragon Sports, a weekly recap of the defending Southside District Champion Parkview Dragons exclusively on SouthHillEnterprise.com. The Parkview Dragons ended week six with a 42-0 pounding of the Greensville Eagles in Emporia on Friday night. The cheerleaders called for defense and the players responded. Whether Parkview was gang tackling, or delivering a solo blow. The shots were hard and punishing. Parkview took an early 9-0 lead in the first quarter after getting an opening kickoff safety and then a 43-yard Vince Claiborne to Geo Fagan's hookup for a TD. The Jacob Newcomb extra point was good. Parkview scored again with 8.44 left in the second quarter when James Brown took it around the left-hand side for a 36-yard TD. The 15-0 lead stood after a Jacob Newton extra point was called no good. Parview got right back on their defensive game, shutting down Greensville on the ground and through the air. Parview would get right back on the scoreboard and with their next possession when Clyborne and Fagans hooked up again, this time for a 69-yard TD pass and a 21-0 lead. The Nuka Vexor point was again called no good, and this time even the Parkview coaching staff had a hard time seeing it. Parkview opened the third quarter with a Brown 80-yard TD kickoff run back for a 28-0 lead. Parkview responded a few minutes later when Terry Pettis ran for a 20-yard TD. The point by Newton was good, and the score was 35-0 in the clock running. Parview's defense just never shut down in this game, and with 7.47 left in the fourth quarter, Trayvon Allen would intercept Greenville and return it for a TD and the 41-0 lead. <laughs> Newton's extra point was good, and after the game, Parview head coach Doug Allison spoke with his players and then the Enterprise. to embarrass yourself, don't get yourselves in trouble. Because right now, the, the only thing that can stop you guys is you guys. Um, well, they, they set the tone early with the special teams getting that safety on the opening kickoff. And then, um, you know, uh, Greensville's a good opponent. Um, they tightened up. You know, Geo got a quick touchdown. Next thing you know, we were up by a couple of scores. Uh, but then you saw Greensville move the ball. We had to make a big fourth down stop in our territory. And then I think one of the biggest things that kind of opened the game up was that with about four seconds left in the half, Geo punt, you know, we, we hit a keep pass. There was kind of a, there was an exchange of punts in, all inside of two minutes. And, and that one really changed the tone of the game. Um, and you know, and, and then open off, you know, run back the second half kickoff. So special teams, you know, were functioning. The defense got a shutout. Um, the offense, you know, they, they really bound together because uh, Greens was very, you know, very good team. They're very big up front, fast, and uh, you could see they were getting penetration, but the O line just kept following their rules. This is Mike Mosley on behalf of Dennis Smith and the entire South Hill Enterprise News Team. We hope you have enjoyed Week Six of Dragon Sports, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Boyd Chevrolet Honda of South Hill is proud to bring you Dragon Sports, a weekly recap of the defending Southside District Champion Parkview Dragons exclusively on SouthHillEnterprise.com.